Good morning you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a mommy morning routine video and before I get started I just wanted to say this is my first ever collaboration video with the sweetest person. Her name is Kirsten Langley. She has a one year old daughter named Braylin. Her husband's name is Jacob so obviously I have an immediate connection to that seeing as my husband's name is also Jacob. And her YouTube name is Life with the Langleys. Like seriously how clever. I love love it. She is also doing a mommy morning routine video and I will link that video, her video, in the description box below so you guys can check it out once you're done watching mine of course. Huh? Okay, so let's get into the video. This mommy morning routine may not be like the others you've seen on YouTube just because this is specifically what I do in the morning as the mom before my daughter wakes up for the day. I just need to do a few things for myself. I've been making it a habit to wake up before my daughter every day. So I set my alarm for 5 a.m. Specifically on this day, I woke up a little bit earlier than that. So I went directly into the bathroom, started up a mommy podcast to wake up my brain and then washed my face from whatever makeup could be on from the day before with some cold water and my spin brush. It's from Vanity Planet and I'll link it in the description box too. Then I will go ahead and put my creams on, my acne cream, my eye cream to get them wrinkles out of the way, you know what I'm saying ladies. And then I will put my makeup on and brush my teeth before I apply lipstick because I learned the hard way not to do that. I am no beauty guru at all whatsoever, but I do like to try and present myself nicely. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am kind of really into fitness and I do weight lift a few days a week. So I've come up with this fit girl hack, or actually it's a lazy fit girl hack because what I do is the night before when I'm planning out my clothes, I will try to plan clothes that are workout friendly if I'm not already planning on wearing yoga pants and a t-shirt. I will do something like I did today where I have a tank top on with my sports bra ready to go, but I added jean shorts. And then when it comes to evening time, I will just swap my jean shorts for workout bottoms and I'm ready to go. Easy peasy, no thinking. If I didn't say it already, I do get myself a tall glass of water the night before a new day. That way in the morning, I will see it first thing when I turn off my alarm and I can drink it while I'm getting ready. Because it is extremely important to get hydrated before you caffeinate, which is what you're seeing here. I'm getting my coffee ready. The reason it is important to hydrate before you caffeinate is because when you wake up in the morning, your body is already dehydrated from a night's full of sleep which means if you immediately have coffee before water, it will only further dehydrate you and your body will be like, why, why human, why you do this to me? I recommend not doing that. Maybe instead showing your body some love by hydrating before caffeinating, that would be ideal. Okay, on this morning specifically, I am making an iced coffee because this is more of a summer mommy morning routine and it's hot outside. So I want an iced coffee instead of a hot coffee. I put a spoonful of Truvia in my coffee and then I will let it sit while I get Nora's milk ready for the day. That way I don't have to like scavenge for it when she does eventually wake up. The reason that I let my coffee sit before immediately pouring it over the ice is because I don't want all of the ice to melt and have gross watered down coffee. Some of you guys have been asking me how I make my at home iced coffees and I will definitely tell you, I already did the beginning of it. I just made a cup of coffee, put a spoonful of Truvia in, and then once I poured it over some ice, I added a splash of almond milk it is the unsweetened by silk and that's it that's all I do you guys don't let the Starbucks cup fool you it is definitely not Starbucks but it will get me through a long day of momming ahead Alrighty, by this time, if Nora is still not awake, I will take advantage of the beautiful morning by going out back into my backyard, doing some light stretching, as you kind of saw right there, and then planning out my day and or the week, just depending on what day it is. As you saw, it was about 6.10, and Nora usually wakes up at 6.30, so I have 20 minutes to kind of get my ish together. At first, when I started implementing this new routine into my life, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue going outside just because like I didn't think it would have a big impact on me but the sun and the fresh air seriously feels amazing in the morning I just feel extremely refreshed before Nora wakes up and the iced coffee super helps as well in case it is or it happens to be a hotter morning than normal some of the big key things I like to write out in my planner at the beginning of a new week are all of the meals I plan on making for my family as well as any appointments we may have individually. That's why I'm checking my phone right here to make sure I got everybody covered. 
I will also write out my weightlifting schedule and what days I'll be going as well as what I'll be lifting. I have in there what and when I'll be checking in with my clients for my nutrition business as well as my YouTube channel. I want to make sure I'm filming, editing, and uploading on time for you guys. The podcast that I had on earlier had finally ended, so I figured I would put on a morning playlist on Spotify, and I was really vibing this song, so I wanted to show you guys. By this time, if I am completely done planning and Nora is still not awake yet, I will definitely take advantage of their free time by jumping on my phone and going through some social media that I missed from the night before. On this particular day, Nora woke up at 6.37. I noticed she started wiggling, so that meant the end of my personal mommy morning routine, which is fine because I was completely content with everything I got done this morning. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Don't forget to check out Kirsten's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.